Hey everybody, just doing a video today, uh, more Steam Deck emulation. So this is my Steam Deck, and uh, today we're going to play a game called Dark Escape 4D, which is an arcade exclusive. Um, you will need to find the dump somewhere on the internet. I can't tell you where to find it for legal reasons. And the dump does come with this EXE file, which is basically... As you can see, a PlayStation 3 emulator. However, there is some differences that make it unique and allow it to emulate what's called the Namco 350 system, which uh, that's where this Dark Escape 4D comes from. And there's a few others. I think there's a Tekken game as well that you can find somewhere that uh, you can start up in that same type of emulator. But um, this emulator it's using is a PlayStation 3 emulator, except when you find this dump some way, somehow, we'll say, there's an rpcs3gun.exe there, you have to use this one and not just rpcs3. If you try to put this game somehow, some way into normal rps3 or open just that instead of the gun one, you're gonna get an error code 19 because the game security will figure out that you're trying to emulate it and it won't have the sensor set up properly. So, um, you open this rpcs3gun.exe, here's the game right here. Um, you have to use a mouse to uh, aim in this game properly. Uh, you can't map it to anything under pads or under the config. Under config, if anything, you have to make sure that you do have, uh, if it lets me show you guys. There's a mouse option here, and it's got to be set to basically, yeah, let's see, it's, my touch screen's kind of acting up a bit, but that's a whole nother problem. I have a screen protector on. Um, let's see if I can get it. To this particular Steam Deck, the touch screen's perfectly fine. But uh, I've installed a tempered glass protector, and unfortunately it's a little thick, so it is causing some touch screen issues. But as you can see, I got the mouse handler set to basic. That has to be turned on for this game to work properly, and you have to have a working mouse some way, somehow. Now, we're in luck with the Steam Deck. As you can see, the Steam Deck does have a uh, mouse pad here that, and a mouse pointer. So this is what you're going to be using to aim at the zombies basically before you kill them in the game. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to fire it up now. Because there is some more steps here to set this up properly. Now as far as uh, how playable this is on the Steam Deck. Uh, this particular Steam Deck is overclocked. So as you can see the CPU is running a bit higher right now than stock. Um, but this is still playable even on a stock Steam Deck. I didn't really run into many issues with it, just a little bit of audio stuttering at times, that's it. When it's overclocked and undervolted, I don't really get any audio stuttering at all. Uh, so great experience, but even on a stock one, this is still definitely playable on the Steam Deck using uh, the proper files that you have to find somewhere. So I'm going to add some credits. Now, um, I'm going to show you guys one thing. So... The way that this game works with the mouse pointer is when you find this game somewhere somehow with the EXE and everything, um, it has certain gun set calibration settings that aren't going to carry to your device. So when you go to play the game, I'll just show you guys right now. You're going to have to do what's called a gun calibration and it's probably going to give you a sensor error after. So you're probably going to have to restart this program after you set it up for the first time. But what's happening with a lot of people is so they'll get this game, right? And then they go to to move the uh, the gun, basically, to select things. And as you can see, like, mine's a bit sensitive, but it covers all the screen. Some people are getting stuck in, like, certain spots, or they can only use, like, half that screen, basically. And what you got to do is get into the config menu, which is there. And there's an I.O. test button. So you have to hit that, basically. Uh... So you hit IO test, and when you go to IO test, there's a thing that says gun calibration at the bottom. 
Now you have to hit the letter G some way somehow. Um, on my Steam Deck, I was able to connect a keyboard and hit the letter G, or you can use an emulator called Joy to Key and map one of these buttons to the letter G. But you go IO test, hit G, and then what it's gonna do is it's gonna have you point the gun at various parts of the screen using the pointer here, and it does a gun calibration and then it saves. And you will see a sensor error after. I'm gonna try to exit now. I don't think it's gonna show the sensor error now, but you're gonna get a sensor error after. So you're gonna have to close and reopen this after you calibrate your touchpad on the screen, basically. If you don't do that, then chances are when you open up this dump wherever you find it some way somehow your gun's probably going to stay in the middle of the screen or it might even stay in the top and you won't be able to play the game properly there's the sensor error i was referring to so all we're simply going to do is close it down quick i probably should have just done the gun calibration but i don't have it mapped to the letter g right now to show you guys but we're just going to open it back up there it goes because that that air will go away when you restart it after you set up the gun calibration on the pad so i mean it's not a permanent air it's just this this here isn't supposed to really be played on a steam deck or even on a computer it's an arcade game so that's why you're going to get stuff like that when you first set it up but once you have it working and set up and calibrated properly it's it's fairly easy as you're going to see in a second um So we're gonna give it some credits. And it should let me start. So yeah, now that we've done a gun calibration, we'll say this cut the calibration I did isn't perfect, but it's something. I think I have it mapped to my top button for the trigger. And so this right here is also in 2D mode. Um, I think mine's mapped to the top button to change it between... Actually, yeah, it's not letting me do it now. But one of these buttons up here I mapped to go between 4D and 2D. You want to keep it in 2D mode, that way you can see it. And as you can see, it looks great, sounds great. So see how I'm controlling it with the mouse pad here? Because I did the gun calibration properly in that I.O. test menu, it's letting me point wherever now, and then I can fire, which I think is this one. Oh, look at this thing. Kind of doing this with one hand, but... This game itself can be actually scary to some people. Um, me, myself, I haven't had any issues with it. I've been playing it for years. But uh, it's definitely one of my favorites. Once I figured out how to get it going on the Steam Deck, I was really happy myself. Um, it didn't really need a whole ton of setup besides, uh, as I mentioned, that uh, IO test menu and that gun calibration that you have to do. Because like I said, if you don't do that and you go to play this game, you're not gonna be able to move this. You're not gonna be able to move this pointer here to shoot the zombies properly, making it very difficult to even play at all. Um, I'm just doing this with one hand, so obviously, looks like I died already. But I can just hit continue. One of these buttons is continue. Oh, there we go. getting pretty good FPS on it. I'm sitting around 30. There's a little bit of audio stuttering, which did improve as I uh, overclocked and undervolted this particular Steam Deck. But once again, even on a stock Steam Deck, th this was still playable with some stuttering here and there. Um, definitely expected. I mean, you're trying to run an arcade game on a, you know, a, a, a compact device, basically. So... Oh, 
Well, that, those guys disappeared. I don't know where that one went. There you have it, folks, though. Um, this is Dark Escape 4 on the Steam Deck. Um, any questions, you can uh, drop a comment, and I can let you know. I can't tell you where to get the dump from, but I can let you know how to set things up if you do manage to find it somewhere. Like I said, the most critical part to this thing working properly is getting into that test menu. I was able to use the one button up here to get to it. Going to IO test and hitting the letter G to do a gun calibration. Because before I did that, this touchpad had the gun part stuck in a very small area of the screen and I could not play the game at all. So, um, yeah, like I said, uh, hopefully this helps somebody, uh, you know, play this game if they can find it somewhere. And uh, once again, thanks to Val for making a wonderful device that's very capable. I'll be putting some more video videos up of other arcade games that I've played on here as well. It's overall been a great experience and uh, it's, it's a lot faster than I thought too.